Poor Daniel. Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you all right? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Screw the Vortex Club. They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't deserve anything. I mean, what do they actually do for Blackwell, huh? You're right, Max. Screw them. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Let's grind, bitches! I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Good, Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell ninja mode. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. Kate brings it. So room 111 is the magic number. Evan, 
Of course. That's why no shits were given. <sighs> Evan rolls. There's Eagle Eye Chloe scoping out the area for Nathan. Who would steal cat pics? They have one more meeting left. Oh, why, hello, Trevor and Dana. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. Zack or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. This just makes me think of Kate. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. This can only be Nathan's room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. I really hope they were all consenting models. I don't 
think one book can guide the Prescotts. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. These films all have a dark pattern. Must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Oh, my God, Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. So cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. Remember, you're on enemy turf now, Max. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Let's see what Nathan hides in here. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome and far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. 
This is strong stuff. Nathan Prescott, All-American Teen. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Uh. Get off me, bro! Uh. 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 You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, uh. motherfucker! Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. But scary. Shit, ma'am. This really hurts. Damn, that was intense. Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh... So, maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting.
I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hit you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. So now we have to see Frank all the way out here. The forest seemed quiet. No sign of life. Or deer. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. No worries, sign. Aw, oh, poor little beach ball. I don't think Frank listened to my cleaning advice. It's not funny anyway. blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. How can all of this not be connected to a major storm? Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Behold, Frank's beer garden.
This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it, especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I, I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shits. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Step the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Oh no! Chloe... I just shot a man... and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, Frank. I'm sorry. Jesus. Chloe actually killed Frank. 
she'll never forgive herself or forget this. And only I can change it. Listen, Chloe, I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because... Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, well what? You already did. Ah, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Ah, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Okay. Shit. This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. Listen, Chloe, I can... You won't.
Thanks for hearing me out, Frank. Look, we only want to talk, and it's not even about you. We're not here to start a fight. No, that shit would be over pretty fast. Don't fuck with me, and I won't return the favor. So what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well... Help us. Or else. Are you actually threatening me again, little girl? No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell sh... I'm Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my play, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> Listen, Chloe. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Frank, um, after our last meeting, I don't want any weapons involved. Could you put your knife or whatever in the RV until we're done talking? After you pulled a fucking gun on me, you want to negotiate my safety? I didn't trust you before, and now I do less. God, I hate you Blackwell shits. You act like you own this town, like I'm your puppet. Nobody owns me. You understand that? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Listen, you For you. There, you're st just the names of. Oh. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank... We didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to, and I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. 
That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? What are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am, or what I can do, you understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late, she's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me. Fucking crazy! Okay. All right, let's take this baby out of my leg. Be gentle, Frank. Listen, Chloe. Frank. You. Oh. What? There's. Yeah. Fine. Rachel, almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck.